it's Maria. Well, that took me way longer than I've planned. Unfortunately, I got surprised by some health problems and it took much longer to finish Avia. But without any further ado, let's dive right into the video. I will guide you through what I did and there might be tutorials coming on some of the stuff. I don't need any of her clothes or accessories. Let's take them off. But I really like that she comes with a lot of them. Because if you don't plan to customize her, that's pretty cool. I love that her chest is like a ball jointed doll. Since I will reroute her, I've already removed the head from the body. And if you haven't seen it, this is how her neck piece looks like. Alright, let's remove her factory paint. I'm always using non-acetone nail polish remover. It might take a bit longer, but I prefer staying on the safe side. Her factory paint is gone and I've washed her face from the nail polish remover. Because I will reroute her, I need to clean the head from the paint. And well, that excess plastic too since it, it's not necessary, but it's like a needle in my eye and it has to be gone. First I'm cleaning most of it with my exacto knife and then I'm sanding down the edges. When I'm done with this, I just remove the paint. Removing body paint can be tricky. Some Monster High dolls can get damaged by the chemicals. I'm always testing before getting stride on erasing it. Next, I remove the seam lines because when I do a body paint, it makes it look better. I'm using files to sand them off because I have a better control. I'm wearing mask and protection glasses not to breathe in the dust and also gloves because it makes my hands dry. The feathers on her arms don't really fit with what I had planned for her so I removed them too. Since the hands she came with are actually black gloves, I just made her new ones that match with her body color. I'm using polymer clay and I don't have the exact tone, so I just mixed my own. I'm checking in between if I reach the tone of her body. I'm working on both hands at the same time, so they are alike. I'm making each finger slimmer and of course fixing the shape. In case they get too long, I just resize them. And then again fixing the shape. When I'm done, I just position them the way I want. After washing and dyeing alpaca for her, I'm straightening it to prepare her for the reroute. I really like purple and I kept the color topic. topic. 
All right, let's move to the reroute. Okay, this will be creepy, but bear with me. I had to cut off her ears since we will make her new ones. She kind of looks like she will become hell boy, well hell girl in this case. <laughs> I'm smoothing out any edges and back to rerouting. I'm using water resistant permanent glue and the holes get closed by it. Well, she's ready for repainting, customizing and all that stuff, but this will come in part 2. I hope you had fun guys and if you did, smash that like button. And if you're new here and liked it too, there's that sub button below or in the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time in part 2. <laughs>